Hey there y'all and welcome back. I've tried this after about an hour of grinding. Didn't work, so I'm trying again now after two hours of grinding. So let's take a look at our stats. Currently level 21, sitting on this build. The Magatama I ended up buying was the Hifumi Magatama for Null Force because I was able to Mostly because I didn't want to uh, grind up the extra fucking 5,000 uh, Maka just to buy it, but also because I did get counter. It's a low chance, but counter's still counter. I went ahead and also fused a Nekomata, who was draining on force damage. A... And a uh, Ame no uh, Yuzumi, uh, who nulls force damage. She'll be my mostly healer of the battle. And we're bringing in a previously fused one, uh, fucking Nozuchi, because it drains force damage. If we can get him to use force a lot, then we can make him waste a bunch of his turns. Because it likes to use melee attacks, but it also likes to use force attacks. Alright, here we go again. Yes, 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 we heard this in the last episode. Hoping that I won't have to rely on buffs and debuffs, but we'll see. Because right now I'm trying to do a no buff run. start off doing that. And nice! Made him waste his first turn. Uh, yeah, fire. He's immune to poison. So let's death touch. I'm not sure. Oh, right, you block it, shit. <laughs> Oops. As long as you block, or preferably drain, his element's uh, force, you should be, for the most part, fine. You just have to contend with his over-the-top uh, dodging ability, because he always starts off by increasing it by four stages. 
the phase where she's actually going to be doing what I brought her along for. Medea kills everybody. right there, y'all. Just because you are over-leveled doesn't mean he won't just... <laughs> the game won't just fuck you up. Okay. Uh, we'll drop Tarunda for Tornado. Yeah, sure. Party full of yield. Too bad that doesn't include Nekamata. So we faced our first menorah boss. Mercifully, I think there's only one other menorah boss that's mandatory. So, those holding menorahs did attract each other. I have a favor to ask of you. No. There is no hurry, but could you bring your menorah to us? Eh. I will allow you access to the labyrinth of Amala from the terminal. Maybe. I will explain the details upon your arrival. Until then, please ensure that the menorah remains in your safekeeping. <sighs> okay, time to waste a revival bead. Nekamata back in. Let's return you to stock because I do want to still continue working on uh, you. Actually, basically done with Nozuchi at this point, so but yeah, that looks good. Hey, thanks. Thank you. Smoke ball. Yeah, the menorah bosses are set up to be relatively difficult encounters. Mercifully, like I said, a very finite amount of them are actually mandatory. Which means a very finite amount of them are not required until I actually want to go get them. <laughs> Let's come to this side first. D chain, very nice. I did actually have to use a beat chain in my grinding a little bit, because uh, several of my demons were ready to level, and something like this happened. And I wanted to ensure that I wasn't going to lose one or all of them before the battle ended. Nice. Gummy Medea, please. Uh, 
Hey, dude. Yigabukuro is west of here. Save point. So it's a terminal, which means we can't use, we can use it to return to the Amala Networks terminal uh, over in Ginza. Oops, I should have saved over that. But we can't teleport back to it. And I'd rather just try and wait until after I'm out of this place before using the Amala Network to move around. Two live stones, acceptable. Around the wall, thank you. Pass. Fire. Right now, I'm gonna be a little willy nilly with my uh, learned skills on the main character. Mostly because, honestly, for a little while anyways, I'm going to need a wide variety of things, which is why I've still got Frost Breath and just picked up Tornado. But eventually I'm going to, you know, narrow down my selection to a specialty. down here before I go to dinner. Oh, well that way goes forward, it looks like. And I don't want that quite yet. Gate. trap and we got a lifestone and we got a Medea and no it's not Tyler Perry's Medea to be honest I genuinely despise Tyler Perry Medea and he's not a bad person in pretty much anything other than a movie that is a racial stereotype tacked onto a racial stereotype. Something about the poison status effect. While afflicted with it, your attack ability is reduced for both physical and magical damage. Something to keep in mind. Yeah, I 
looks fancy. Can I interact with it? No. I show off tornado. Takes a lot of MP to use, but I mean, it does a lot of damage. What are you? Medicine. Root, I'm trying to talk to someone here. Okay. That guy's telling us about the boss of this area. The boss that isn't Matador. Should be able to rush to finish. Yeah, I don't see anything done. Rude. We got near. I mean, probably that's kind of what happens in wars of demons versus demons. telling you that if your demon has 
certain abilities, they can chime in while you're actively trying to recruit other demons. And this way's dead end. Just getting it on the map. More chopper drops. Oh, which does remind me. While grinding, I, uh, Jack Frost did give me bees. Which I will go ahead and use on the main character. Because those do permanently buff the afflicted things. I had a 7 agility and a 5 luck, and now it's uh, 8 and 6 respectively. Get a forehead. Damn. Oh. Yeah, sure. I did just do a lot of grinding, so it's not like I really need the uh, minuscule amount of experience you give me for killing you, anyways. And we're gonna go on and call this episode here and come back, continuing through the underground passage. See you soon.